argument, build more prisons. We need to have a consequence. We also need to... Uh, not work. We, I, listen, I have grown up. I, so I've grown up in some of these communities that you guys are talking about. And prison always, it's not a deterrent. Not so if we don't change the environment, we won't change anything. And that's the key thing. Mm. Yo, check. The world is changing. Every day I'm waking up to something that inflicts upon my mental state. I can't contain it. It's like I'm waking up in limbo. The ideology inside my mind is smile through pain so I can see tomorrow. The industry's pumping fake facts to the brain. To youngsters, the society is slowly going insane. I know my upbringing avoided all that bullshit, but looking back, man's lucky. Let me tell you, real simple and plain. Look, it's 2011, I'm just turning 12. Was out looking from my own perspective of this world. The worst thing that ever happened at the time was all the riots never knew how much evil the human minds could even delve making the whole culture follow concepts of all the pressures from the government and people beyond all the peaceful measures i miss all this came a test from mums and fathers should they risk their son getting drawn out and wrapped up into the dramas tough times of a kid not familiarized or switching sides london where i grew up but somehow avoided all the crimes teenage life in 0161 but here was uneventful used to seeing the news back in the south they discovered knives and gang warfare would always seem glorified on social Social media, yo, they ballied up cause feds were looking for buns and ties This propaganda had me hooked into the action deadly feels But something about my personality, I want that mental suicide Constantly watching my back, thinking is it up or is it fed? Would I make it out tonight or even make it to my bed? Just yesterday I fought this guy around my corner Plus he an elder so God knows how many of the pagans want me dead This props the thought of a youth who's exposed To the paranoia of being involved to the haunts and evils of the road Only that next morning they wake up in their Christian home And refuse a prayer from the single mum and go off to roam The streets again cause now inside of him is second nature Mother crying on the kitchen table thinking why is he failed her And the father died last year heart attack they said blood pressure But the boy was seeking redemption for other means whatsoever and looking up to niggas on the block as his father figure last thing in his mind is being there for his mother or sister but our people are living not only seen in their perspective we're just too focused in trends need to change our retrospective what if that boy was nearly me and grew up in a society that weren't so different from mine so it came easier for kids to confide with me and the story i tell wouldn't be a way inside but only to feel the rage from my drillers in the ends that always will their knives government watching from the sidelines they know they can help the rest leisure centers turn ghost town nowhere to discard the stress imagine what it'd be like if they all took the route of success maybe a change of scenery is what these kids need for the best maybe it's good to turn away a fresh start's what's needed maybe the new trend is hearing what the kids are begged and pleaded Teresa should have fought for this then a brexit deal that's turned laughing stock man i swear the internet remains undefeated maybe mental health in childhood should be what's trending we need to save this generation from the future that is heading right now it's time to treat the poison with some instant healing or is it gonna take a whole year like a new power season